Greetings to you, sir. I'm Brinda Sudhanayakam. Along with me, my team members, Kamini Supriya, Kavirisha Pandian, Nis Nishanti Sandiran, and also Yamuna Ramachandran. So as for sports, we have chose basketball and we, we will be presenting about basketball injuries. So technically, um, basketball is a game played between two teams opposing each other which goals will be scored by throwing a ball through a netted hook, which will be placed in both of the end of the court. So as for my part, I'll be presenting about the hand and wrist injury. So uh, hand, what is hand and wrist injury? And hand and is, uh, wrist injury may affect the bones, muscles, nerves, ligaments, and skin. And this injury is very common in a uh, basketball court. And this is frequently caused by poor technique and lack of awareness of sports medicine. The common type of injuries which happens in sprains, fractured or broken fingers and wrists. Uh, sprains are caused by the ligament being overstretched, which causes micro ribs. And also as for the fractured or broken fingers and wrists, a blunt force trauma to the finger or wrist, such as catching a ball incorrectly or breaking a fall. So as for the signs and symptoms, uh, severe injuries results in pain, bruising, and idoemia, and fractures and breaks limit the range of motion and induce weakness in the hand. Whereas, um, lac lacerations are marked by bleeding, which can result in weakness and pallor, whereas burns can result in weakness, blistering blackened tissue, discoloration, skin abnormalities, and deformities. So, uh, for this, the treatment normally will be. Uh, will be given by physiotherapy. Okay, so this type of injuries will need physiotherapies. Surgery may need may be required right away if the injury is severe. And serious breaks, fracture, uh, lacerations, and wound require medical attentions immediately. So, in the basketball court, players are also advised to do the rice method, which is resting your hand, um, applying ice, giving compression, and also elevating. So, to prevent this. It is important for the players to exercise, to develop hand muscles and improve wrist and fingers flexibility. And other than that, finger strengthening is also recommended. Most importantly, players are required to wear protective equipment when participating in, bas in, in sports or even basketball. So that's all from me. Thank you. And I will be um, passing to the next person. Good afternoon, Sir Faris. I'm Kamini Supriya. For our assignment, we were assigned to choose a sport. So as a group, we have designed and chose basketball as a sport. The common injury that I have chosen is confusion, which is also known as aid injury. As for the introduction, sport injury are the injury that occur when engaging in the sport. Sport injury can occur due to the overtraining or lack of conditioning and improper form of technique. Moving on to the description of the common injury. Concussion is a mild traumatic brain injury which pump violent jolt to the brain that affect a normal brain function technically. Concussion occurs when the player eats the aid or body very hard with the eye impact. Therefore, it can cause the brain more quickly inside the skull, which can damage the brain cell and tissue. Basically, concussion is well known and a very common injury in every sport. This injury will happen to anyone who lost their stability or lost control during the game, including kids, teenagers, and even the professional players. Moving on to the sign and symptom. Concussion can be seen through few symptoms and signs, but some severe concussion can lead to an instant unconscious. The symptom only can be identified in a long-term period or short-term period, but it totally depends on a person who gets hit and impact with in their aid. The symptom may include headache, dizziness, sensitivity to the light and noise, numbness, fatigue, feelers, feeling anxious, and also difficulty uh, in balancing a coordination and also blurry vision. They also will overcome from nausea, vomiting, dilated eye uh, people, balancing after the game end. But besides that, the players also have some changes in their behavior and also their mood. Moving on to the treatment. 
These injuries can be overcome through a certain treatment. One of the treatment where you have to go to the neurological examination for concussion, which the doctor will test your balance, coordination, vision, hearing, and also reflex. Moreover, a person with concussion injury usually needs to be monitored closely at home for any persistent, any new uh, symptoms or not. They also have to follow up with their doctor's appointment. So the doctor will give the patient when they have to return to the ER spot in a appropriate date or time. Next, prevention. Concussion can be avoided and prevented by all athletes that should be trained in a safe sport technique and they have to follow all the rules. We are not able to prevent every concussion, but the helmet, mouth, mouth gut, and the safety gear can reduce the risk of concussion. Coaches also must ensure that the players are wearing the safety helmet before the game. In the same time, during the game, such as basketball, the players should avoid tackling one another on their head. To prevent this, referee should give a warning who attack who attacking the other players aid as well. So that's all from me, sir. Thank you. Good day to Sir Izudin. I'm Kavirisha Fandian here, would like to present about basketball injuries. There are a lot of injuries would happen when you play basketball. So one of the injuries is hip and thigh injury. Okay, what is thigh injury? Thigh injury is a muscular strain, also known as muscle pull or tear. The thigh injury or condition such as hamstring strain or thigh sprain, hip is Hip injury is a feeling of discomfort at or around the hip joint, which is formed by top and a head of the thigh bone, firmer fitting into the hip bone socket. Basketball players frequently sustain hip and thigh injuries as a result of their rapid movement and moving from side to side. All of the required jumping as well as the subsequent uh, pressure that travels from the feet to the hips when a player falls on the hot court puts a lot of extra strain on this part of the body. So now I'm going to talk about the signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms are deep thigh or hip bruises. These are the typical injuries that develop when ligaments or muscles are overextended. The patient may have swelling for the first few hours following the injury, bruising below the knee or hamstring weakness and instability depending on the degree of the damage for a thigh injury. Sharp pain might be felt over the affected muscle or at the hip due to hip injuries or diseases. Hip discomfort can develop into an aching that spreads across the hip over time. Hip discomfort that intensifies when lying on the damaged hip or doing particular activities like walking, stair climbing, or getting in and out of a chair are among the other symptoms. Next, moving on to the treatment. There are two types of treatment for basketball injuries or hip and thigh injuries, which is like, it can be done with surgery and also without surgery. So when we see uh, how the um, treatment for without surgery is rest, ice, compression, and elevation, this is the rise treatment. This is the best treatment for the thigh injury. Staying off your feet, icing the wound, wounded area, applying pressure to it, and elevating your legs are all you need to do. All of this will assist to minimize swelling in the area and in turn lessen the damage. Hip and thigh injuries can be treated 
um, using uh, orthopedic surgery. For surgical treatments, the doctor usually offer cartilage restoration procedures, joint preservations and reconstruction, mini open repair techniques, minimally invasive arthroscopic hip surgery and open surgical repair techniques. So to avoid all these hip or thigh injuries, we need to prevent when we are playing. So for the prevention, when you're playing during basketball is to stretch thoroughly before practices and games. You can also benefit from a solid weightlifting routine to strengthen your muscles and joints. Thank you, that's all from me. Greetings to sir. My name is Nishanti Sandir and today I'm going to present one of the common injuries from the chosen sports. So the sports that we have chosen is basketball. So in basketball, one of the injury happened while playing, playing basketball is knee injury, specifically injury in arterial cruciate ligament, which is called as ACL. However, an injury of the ACL is most commonly a complete tear, which is a season-ending injury as it requires surgery to reconstruct the ligament followed by a long rehab program. This is the most common area of injury in basketball, which is arterial cruciate ligament, which is also called as ACL, one of the four major ligaments of the knee. Contrary to the popular belief, the majority of ACL injuries are not caused by direct hits to the knee, but by sudden stops and changes in directions. Injuries to the ACL include sprain in which the ligament is overstretched, resulting in inflammation and pain causing micro tears, and a complete tear or rupture of the ligament destabilizing the knee. A complete tear is typically treated with reconstructive surgery in order to get players back in the game. As for the signs and symptoms of this injury, the most, the most common symptoms of an ACL tear include a popping sound. If you can hear a pop coming from your knee at the time of the injury, it may be a tear. Moreover, severe pain is one of the most common signs of ACL tear. It will worsen if you try to stand up. Next is swelling. The knee joint will begin to swell and the swelling is usually immediate. Other than that is instability. Your knee might be buckled or given out underneath you. Another one is inability to walk. You may not be able to walk or even put weight on the affected leg. This symptom can vary based on the severity of the injury and your tolerance for pain. As for the treatment for this injury, depending on the severity of your ACL injury, treatment may include rest and rehabilitation exercise to help you regain strength and stability or surgery to replace the torn ligament followed by rehabilitation. You may also wear a brace to stabilize your knee and use crutches for a while to avoid putting weight on your knee. A proper training program may help you reduce the risk of an ACL injury. Injury. Prompt first aid care can reduce the pain and swelling immediately after an injury to your knee. Follow the RISE model, which is rest, I have put, putting ice, compression, and elevation model of cell care at home. So, for preventing this injury, Simple measures can dramatically reduce the risk of experiencing an ACL tear. Firstly, implement targeted strength training. Strength training that targets the ACL and the other muscular skeleton components of the knee can significantly increase resilience against the orthopedic injury. Recommended strength training includes high intensity, jumping pilometrics, and exercises that strengthen the quadriceps and hamstring of the thigh. Next is focus on balance. The majority of ACL injuries that occur from a quick change of direction and a sudden slowdown or stop or faulty landing or a collision. Improving balance and strengthening the muscles of the feet, ankles and legs and knees can help to prevent unnatural twists and poor fibers that cause ACL tests and likewise improve resilience and reaction time. Other than that is to warm up and stretch. Warming up prior to intense activity can help to loosen muscles which in turn may help to prevent injuries or reduce their severity. Stretching is similarly important for loosening the body's muscles and ligaments. Moreover, use proper footwear and pro practice proper technique. 
In fitting shoes can impair your balance and increase the likelihood of trips, twists, and other awkward motion that send shock through your knee joint and may result in ACL tear. Practice proper athletic technique is essential for avoiding high impact and damaging motions. Consult with a coach or physical trainer to ensure that your technique is safe and correct. Lastly, meet with a sports medicine specialist. In addition to vulnerable muscles and connective tissues, most sports medicine specialists can determine if your joints are operating properly or if any condition is impairing the function. A healthy range of joint motion is essential for avoiding spons injury, such as facial tears. So these are the symptoms and treatments for the injury happen while playing basketball. So let's play safe by following those precautions. And so that's all from me. Thank you very much. So good afternoon to uh, Sir Farid and my classmates. So today I'm going to present about our uh, assignment, which is management of sports injuries. So the common injuries, the sport that we choose is basketball. So, so as for the introduction, Ankle injuries are common in sports, but there's a predominance in basketball. The player often jumps with both feet off the ground and at times lands off balance with a twisting action. Although the ankle is flexible enough to permit a wide range of motion and strong enough to bear, weight, bear the weight of the entire body, it can still be injured. In today's society, with more people involved in many sports and aerobic activities, ankle injuries are becoming increasingly common. So the next slide is, okay, ankle injury is also known as ankle sprain. So ankle sprains are the most common acute injury that develops from sudden blows or twist. These sprains are most likely to affect the outside lateral ligaments. This happens when the foot turns under the leg, causing a stretching effect in the ligaments to a point where they may rupture and a tear. Depending upon the amount of ligament tearing, a sprain can be either be mild, moderate, or severe. This common injury often happens if a player rolls or twists their ankle in the wrong way. So as for the signs and symptoms, if a player got ankle sprains or injury, they can know the pain by overstretched portion of the ankle, swelling, bruising, and also warm to the touch. So as for the next slide, okay, as for the treatment of the pain by overstretched portion of the ankle, swelling, bruising, and also for the warm to the touch, the player can actually take rest or put some ice on the ankle to make it warm and also to reduce the ankle pain. Besides that, they also can have elevation for the first 24 to 48 hours post-injury. So as for the prevention, players can prevent this ankle injury by wearing the proper athletic shoes that provide support and will help to avoid slipping on the court. An ankle brace is also a great a great way for players to support the joint and prevent a sprained ankle. Talk with your doctor or physical therapist about what is best for you. So that's all for me. Thank you.